she said, Kawani had look good. So I said, oh, what she got? She said, it looked like a professional did it. I don't think she did that shit herself. <laughs> and I said, well, she be doing her hair all the time. She might have did it. She said, no, 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 no. That shit look too good for it to be done by her. <laughs> That's exactly what I said. So I said, well, maybe she don't want to let you know that she paid nobody. So she said she did it herself. I said, no. <laughs> I think she paid somebody. <laughs> Hey y'all, it's your girl Kawana back with another video. In this video, I'll be showing you how I achieved this look for my passion twist for my upcoming trip to Mexico. I did it myself because your girl is on a budget and she's forever a thrifty queen. So if you want to see how I achieved this look, just stay tuned. Love you guys. Okay, so in this clip, y'all, I'm just showing you how I parted off my hair. I went for triangle parts. Just wanted to do something different. Um, I did it off camera just because I did it myself, as you can tell from the back. But don't eat me up in the comments. Um, yeah, so I just went ahead and pre-sectioned my hair so it could be easier moving through each twist. So then I got these rubber bands. It was like 500 in that little small container. And so I separated some, as you can tell in this clip. And once I separated them, I went ahead and grabbed my oil. I've seen a bunch of YouTubers do this. They said it's supposed to minimize the damage from using those small rubber bands because you know they aren't really encouraged. So I added this. This is a castor oil with tea tree oil and then after that i doubled down and i used my miel mint almond oil this is like one of my staples i love this oil so of course i was going to use this okay next i'm just showing you guys the hair i use so the brand of the hair is epic um it's the three times water wave in the color 1b and the length is 22 inches i got this from my local beauty supply store um it's three bundles that come in a pack i actually got five packs which was way too many i think in the end i only ended up using two total all right y'all so here's the fun part i did one twist off camera just to practice because I was trying to embarrass myself on camera, but little do I know that was just the beginning. I got so lucky with this first twist, y'all, because after this, it just went downhill. As you can tell in this clip, everything was fine and dandy. I'm starting off good. I'm starting off good. I'm starting off good. But then it gets bad. Y'all gonna see me struggle. Stay tuned. Okay, so struggle number one. Me forgetting to take the braid out before trying to put this freaking rubber band on this section. But as you can see, I got it out. I'm just measuring the hair. I'm taking two strands and I'm making sure I got my desired length. I want to try to make everything consistent. And then I'm going to go ahead and take two rubber bands, not one, two, and secure this part, this section of my hair. I just want to make sure it's very secure. And I did it a little tight, but not tight to where it was unbearable. So I'm sliding the crochet hook underneath the rubber band, which was pretty easy considering I tied it a little tighter than I'm used to people doing it. Uh, it was pretty easy for me though. So then I'm sliding half of the hair through and making sure I'm keeping half on the other side so they'll be separated. It's a little tug, tug. There, there you go, Kawana. So again, I'm just making sure it's pretty even on both sides. Um, after this, I'm going to take a section of one side. And this is my attempt to try to like hide the rubber band. So I'm going to just part that section off. And I'm going to turn it and twist it around the base. Just to make sure that rubber band is covered. So I'm going to do it like two or three times. yeah that's good right there so after that i'm going to try to twist now i normally twist if this makes sense left over right so i take my right left hand and i twist over my right hand and i continue down the hair now this is the second struggle that will not always work 
this style is more technical than I thought because it's certain pieces of hair that have to be twisted a certain way and if it's not going if it's going like against against the grain of the curl pattern of the hair once you finish the twist and try to let it go it's going to unravel and it's not going to look as neat as that first twist you're going to see that in this clip but the thing is, you don't really know until you finish the twist. Because as you can see, it looked pretty uniform. But once I got to the end and let it go, it did not look that way. Stay tuned. see what I mean I was confused as hell okay as y'all can see I made it to the front of my head at this point I only had maybe two or three left I found out a method that worked for me now granted it may add a little bit more time to the style time but it is what worked best for me so again I'm gonna go ahead and start by putting my crochet hook through the part underneath the rubber band so this is the method that I found you have to find pieces that twist the same way so what I would do is I would start twisting now I usually twist left over right if that makes sense so my left hand will be over my right I'll twist down maybe like not even an inch and then I'll let it go if it starts to unravel, that means I have to twist it the opposite way, which is right over left, as you can see in this clip right now. I'm doing it right over left, right over left, right over left, not even an inch down. And as you can see, when I let this one go, it's more uniform. That's how you know you're twisting it the right way, and you will see that right now. Okay, so like I mentioned, at this point, I only had like three maybe two twists left that I had to do so in order to avoid like the back and forth what I would do is go ahead and do my method and make piles so the ones that I have to do left over right I put in one pile and then the ones I have to do right over left I put in another pile that way when it comes to each twist I can just grab two that are already going the same way and just go that cut down on my time i did that throughout the rest of my hair too because i figured if this is gonna make you take long i might as well just do however many i need so that way i won't have to stop once i start okay so at this point i'm just taking a piece of hair and i'm wrapping it around the base that way i can hide the rubber band as i did um in the clip before so i'm just gonna wrap it around like two or three times so that way i can ensure that the rubber band is covered now these pieces of hair i think i did the opposite way of what i normally do so in this case i would have to do um right over left this was more awkward for me but I made it through um as you can see I made sure I had some gel I used the elastic QP gel just to sleep my hair down as I'm going down the twist just to make sure I don't have any like flyaways because you know with natural hair you tend to get those little pieces sticking out here and there and I didn't want that uh not this early at least so I just made sure as I go by I just added more gel if I felt like it was going to be sticking out or if I felt like my hair underneath the twist was going to be a little too poofy. So I just took that all the way down. And at the end, you're going to see I'm going to just twirl it around. You know, I would if I was doing my own natural twist out or something like that. So, yeah, stay tuned.
Okay, y'all, I'm not quite done yet, but I just wanted to give y'all a little 360. Let me start by saying that I love this style. It's giving me real Island Girl vibes. Uh, I think it's the perfect protective style for my upcoming trip to Mexico. Everything just came out so well, aside from the parts. Like I said, do not come for me because I was by myself. But other than that, I love this. I love, love, love it. Okay, so next I'm going to take my Eco Styler with Argon Oil Gel and I'm going to slap that shit on there. This is to help just to tame the flyaways that I may have missed with that Elastic QB gel so i'm just going ahead and working that in this gonna help like tame the flyaways like i mentioned and it also add a little sheen to my twist make it a little shiny you know i love that next i'm taking my elastic qp foam and i'm just um distributing that that's going to be for the end of the twist to make the hair a little bit more curly and defined so i'm just adding that and i'm like combing it through with my fingers as you can see is defining the curls at the end um they were already pretty like pretty defined because this is that water wave hair so you know it's all curly but i think this did a better job once i manipulated the braid in here so next, I'm just adding some anti-itch oil to my scalp. I suffer from dry scalp, itchy scalp, dandruff, all of the above, good girl be itching. So this going to stop me from scratching so early on because I don't want to mess up my twist. Girl, that feels so good. Oh my God, look at my face. And then I'm taking scissors and I'm going to just clip off those scraggly ends that you know may have gotten tangled as i was twisting down i'm gonna just clip down I'm just trying to make this style as clean as possible because i already done did it myself okay okay so in this next clip i'm gonna swoop myself up now disclaimer i'm not no baby hairologist i'm not a professional but i'm gonna do what needs to be done so i'm just evenly distributed it this edge control this is actually a new one that i'm trying out because edge controls don't work for my little b2b edges like i don't know what it is but it's only i've maybe come across three edge controls that work for me so if y'all have any suggestions please do comment below but i'm going ahead and working that in i could not find my edge brush so i'm using this broke rat tail comb that the rat tail snapped off of and i'm gonna do my best to swoop me up Look at that face. I'm concentrating hard, baby. Them edges is so serious. They add that little pizzazz, that little oomph, that little sink that ink. Okay, I'm serious about them edges. Oh, y'all, this is pretty much the final look. Uh, I'm just going to add a little um, got to be free spray to the rest uh, just to try to hold those edges in place because. I ain't want to do itches every single day. So I'm going to try to hold those in place as well as help once again with those flyaways from the actual twist. I got a little small one, yeah, because I don't really use it too often. I like that Paul Mitchell but better. But yeah, this is pretty much it, you guys. Tell me what you think. I'm going to go ahead and sleep on it. And in the next clip, you'll see a next day look of my twist. But before I go, I just want to tell y'all I love y'all. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Love you, babies. Bye.